so today I'm technically eight days postpartum. Um, my little poo poo, Caden Lorenzo Roberts, was born April 16th, 2019, which was eight days late. So he's over there asleep. I'm just kind of looking at him. So first, let me just show you my one week body. So, of course, I have on this uh, thingamajig to help suck in my, you know, to help with the, to help with, you know what I'm saying, to help with the, uh, the after belly baby. So when I went into my last doctor's appointment, I was 206 pounds. I'm technic I'm now 186, so not too shabby. Um, whew. So because he was eight days late, they had to induce my labor. I made four false trips to the emergency room because I thought I was having contractions that were progressive enough, but they weren't. I was three centimeters at 38 and a half weeks or so and I stayed that way until they induced me um I pushed him out in about 30 minutes or less I was not pushing that long um how has it been this week since having him um interesting I haven't had a baby in 10 years so I forgot everything, so I've been, like, asking my brother's girlfriend questions. I've been asking my sister questions, just, you know, the newest little babies. Just trying to get an idea, like, what happened with this? How long did it take for your milk to come in? So, I am nursing him. I did have to supplement with some milk, so now he's kind of picky. I had to supplement with a bottle, and so he's kind of picky. Some days, he's trying to get fed, fed, and so he wants to take the bottle, and he'll scream when I try to nurse him. So, that's a little sad, you know, because I only got this milk for you, bro. I am not feeling my look right now. Just not feeling it. No lashes, no makeup. I don't want to wear any makeup because then that limits my interactions with my baby because then I can't kiss him. So, y'all know my body kind of rabbles, right? Let me try to see our topic. Um... He, just how he had me up in the middle of the night, kicking, he does the same thing. He moves a lot. He fights a lot. Um, pretty good baby overall. When he's with his dad, like when my husband is holding him, he'll be calm. He'll just lay there. Um, he'll eat and just lay there and talk. Every time he's in my arm, there's an objective that needs to be met. And that's he needs to feed. He doesn't just like laying there with me. He, it's like something has to be going on and he knows I'm the milk factory. So he uses me as a pacifier when he's not hungry. Um, I don't know. What else? Um, I'm not eating a lot. It's like I'm intermittent fasting because I go to bed so late. Like this morning, I went to bed at five in the morning because he was waking up like He'll sleep the two hours, maybe three, but I can't fall right to sleep. So once I fall asleep, he's waking up. Sorry, and I have to get up with him. He's nursing fine. We did run into a few little things that I won't talk about in this video because we have to, you know, go to further doctors for him. But overall, he's healthy and he's well. We just have to get a couple things checked out. Um, what else? He's my perfect little angel. So, I will show you this video and yeah, that's pretty much it. I thank you guys for going on this journey with me. He's woke. Oh my God, he's woke. I thank you guys for going on this journey with me um, throughout my pregnancy and then also, you know, still trying to thrift and stuff. So now this is the next phase. I have to get back in shape. And I have to now be the mother of a newborn at 36 and a half years old. 
you will see all these transitions and changes with me and i thank you for rolling with your sister 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 vintage sister she's vintage sister she got her own mind she do her own thing on her own time so without further delay let's just get into this little video with pictures and introduce you to prince kaden lorenzo roberts hey vintage beauty so today is d-day it is april 15th he is officially a week late and so that is why i'm about to get induced i am in the room that i will be having my little baby in uh, my husband's sitting over there uh looking at youtube so yeah my hair looks a mess i just have it natural with some a twist out and kind of mohawk ish style why am i so calm because i have absolutely no contractions nothing going on so that's why i have to get induced so i'll give you a little tour of the delivery room this is not the room, of course, you know, this is not the postpartum room, but I'll give you a little tour of the delivery room. So stay tuned as you go with me on this birth and delivery vlog. A few moments later. Hey, Vintage Beauty. So uh, they started the medication and the contractions literally started like... 10 to 20 seconds before the medication started. My hair is a hot mess. <laughs> so I'm having contractions. They're stronger and closer together. I get my epidural next. The anesthesiologist is doing someone else. So right now I'm just weathering through this pain. Oh my God. I look a hot mess. I am letting y'all see this hot mess of a delivery. But you know what? I don't care at this point in my life. I don't care. Oh, here goes another contraction. Oh. Uh. See the monitor? Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, my God. Ah. Jesus. Oh. getting so much you hear all that that's Kate and Moe they are getting so much closer together it's so painful and it's like a non-stop pressure in my back so my husband just went to get something to eat and my mom took a lunch break to pick up my daughter and get my son and I thought she was gonna bring them up here but she's like no because you're still three centimeters you've been three centimeters for three weeks we was just gonna I was gonna take them home and then get them on my way from work and I'm like no mom I didn't know that Jaden wants to be here so my husband's like do you want me to just go and get him and I'm like yeah just go and get him so that mean I may have to do this epidural without anybody I'm here alone you guys I am here alone. I don't like being alone. Well, Caden's here and he's acting up. Let me put this down because my hair, like, this is not okay. I said I don't care, right? But I care. I don't care if we're going through labor and surgery. Mm -mm. I was going to do my makeup so I could be like a real housewife. I ain't got time for that. I ain't no real housewife of, 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 of California. No, I'm not. Shoot. I didn't do nothing to make it better. It is what it is, you guys. Love me anyway. I got my car mix on deck. All I got is ice chips, letting them melt so I can drink some water. So as you can see, the contractions kind of cooled down. I'm so tired. So I'm filming myself having contractions. I am a trooper. Doing this all alone. Nobody's here with me. Oh my god, here goes another one. Whoo, Jesus. Ay, 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 ay. Jeez. Oh, you. Oh, oh my god. You. Jesus. Whoo. Jesus. 
you know the contractions good when you finna start singing Mexican music. Oh my God, Jesus. Oh, okay, I gotta go. Back. That's gonna be my poo poo little warming station. Just find it. Well, make sure you put it before. He did. Okay. Make sure you don't drop it on. Okay, baby. How much you weigh? It is. No, not yet. Oh, yeah. 5, 75 grams. Let's, uh, let's see how much that is in uh, Hi, little Katie. Katie. I'm still here, buddy. I'm still here, man. Yeah, they got that baby under the light. Please don't drop it. I'm just saying. They got that baby under the light. I'm still here, man. I'm still here. Ooh, look at that baby. Oh, seven pounds, fourteen. So hey, your high man. sevens. So he was almost eight pounds. Almost. Hey, yeah. Hi, Kaden. Hey, man. I forgot yeah, he was yeah. over there. I thought he was a new. Yeah, yeah.